now let us uh, talk about multiplication and division of integers in elementary you have learned that multiplication is a repeated addition For example, you have 7 times 3. It means there are 3 sevens that you are adding. And the answer is 21. So if you have 5 times 4, there are um, 4 fives that you are adding, so you say 20. If you have also this number, negative 7 times 3, it means that there are 3 negative 7s that you are adding. So you have negative 7 plus negative 7 plus negative 7. And your answer is negative 21. Also, if you have negative 5 times 4, the answer is negative 20. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Here also we can say negative 4 times 5 equals negative 21. Our conclusion, we can say any negative number A multiplied by another number B, the answer is negative AB. Or, if you have a number A multiplied by a negative number B, the answer is still the same, negative AB. So, for positive numbers, we can say A times B equals AB. So, this is our rule. How about if we have negative A times negative B? We cannot apply repeated addition for this because we do not have number that is to be repeated. In order to get the product for this, we can make a table. Start with the first factor negative. Start here at um, times 0, times 1, times 2, times 3. Here we have times negative 1, negative 2 times negative 2, negative 2 times negative 3. Let's start here. The product here is negative 6 by applying this formula and we have negative 4 we have also negative 2 we have 0 how about this to get the answer for this we have to look at the pattern here so from negative 6 to negative 4 to negative 2 and zero it means that we are increasing by two so we have here negative six plus two is negative four negative four plus two is negative two negative two plus two is zero since we are adding two here going down we can also have here 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. Another we have 2 plus 2 is 4. And another we have here 4 plus 2 is 6. Look at the pattern for this. We can say that any number that is negative 
multiplied by another number which is also negative the product is positive summary for our rules we have negative a times negative b is equal to positive a b so example if we have so if we have negative 10 times na 20 the answer is negative 200 if we have 52 times negative 3 we have 156 negative if we have negative 8 times negative 6 we have positive 48 if both are positive 5 times 4 it, the answer is positive 20 so this is how we generate our rule for the multiplication of integers let us now proceed to the division our definition for division is division is a reverse operation of multiplication from our rule in multiplication we can say that negative a b divided by positive b equals negative a so a b divided by a equals positive b and also if we have this one a b divided by negative a the answer is negative b or you can just interchange this you can have a b divided by negative b equals negative a we just use the symbols for example positive times positive equals positive negative times positive equals negative or positive times negative equals negative and uh, negative times negative number we have positive Also for our division, we can have these symbols, negative divided by positive equals negative and uh, positive divided by positive equals positive and uh, positive divided by negative equals negative and negative divided by negative equals positive this is only a device for you to easily memorize the rule for multiplication and division